This 2D animated battle map I put together in Roll20 features two types of animations. Looped animations, like the bridge, the waterfall, trees, the snow and water effects, and an example of a trigger animation, this big skull gateway here, that we can trigger in-game for players to interact with. Now, what's pretty sweet about the designs, artwork and animations I made here is that anyone can repurpose them to create their own 2D animated battle map from scratch. For the map itself, I've created these custom brushes, paths and object files that are compatible with my favorite dungeon building software called Dungeon Draft. It allows me to deconstruct my illustrations and make it possible for anyone to create their own maps in my art style. The map we're building here is both our reference image and our foundation for the animated map we'll eventually be uploading into Roll20. Once it's finished, I export it at 100 pixels per square, which is the same size as my animated assets, and export it a second time without all the objects that I'll be swapping out for the animated versions in the final result, like the trees, the bridges, and my skull gateway. Now, when I create these maps, I make sure to add some finishing touches like shadows in Photoshop before adding in my animations, but you can just skip this step or add some in a dungeon draft. Doing it in Photoshop doesn't only allow me to add in those colors for depth, but it also allows me to add in my custom grid, which I prefer over the grids in both Dungeon Draft and Roll20. It's a personal preference, really. Finally, when I have my touched up base map, I import it into Roll20 and figure out what animations I'll be using for this map. To make things simple, I've added in information on each asset, like the dimensions of each object in squares, which is really useful for rescaling it in Roll20. All the looped animations go into the background layer, and any trigger animations go into the object layer, to make sure I get that nice play button for activating them. And voila, my new 2D animated battle map from scratch.